This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. This isn't an ice cream lover's convention after all, but a game of dire consequences. Only one of you will survive. And that one survivor better leave this hotel a glowing review online. I will not be screwed over by TripAdvisor again. Okay, first question. When was Velcro patented? Use your device to answer the question. <laughs> and the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, it's time. Welcome to room 113. The hair dryer's broken, sorry. It's time for some pegging. Okay, now that I've said that out loud, it does sound weird. You're going to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. You know what? We need some death zones. Hey, you. Pick the landing slots that kill. Hurry along. Okay. Let the games begin. Pick a spot to drop from. It's fun. Pick a spot, or I'll pick it for you. It's so hard to predict what will happen. Land in a sl- Don't blame me, blame gravity. Surprise! Okay, so... Don't freak out! But you're a ghost now. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's try another one. Which of these is a Proust novel? Who picked? 
this. One of you is still alive. Follow me. Bonjour! Welcome back to the killing room. Ah, the lost art of letter writing. I'm going to dictate a message to you. Write down as much of what I say as you can. Everyone else will be typing too. And if anyone does a better job than you, you die. <coughs> okay, starting letter now. Dear Chocolate Puff Cereal, I love your product, but I fear your mascot. Peter the Puff Pig is clearly insane. His painted smile on the box is an obstacle I must overcome every time I prepare breakfast. Please just send me your delicious product in a clear plastic bag. Time's up! Alright, now let me get out my red pen and give this a once up. And here's how you did! But did anyone do better than you? Well, you failed. That's not even close to what I said. I never thought I'd be back here, running the old family murder hotel. I also thought I'd never own a pair of crops, but the blood just washes off so easily. Let's keep moving. What is a Romanian Longhorn? gift of all. A scratch ticket. Scratch and find three dollar signs to live. If you keep scratching, I'll give you cash for every dollar sign you find. But if you scratch off even one skull, you die. Start scratching. Why stop now? We know what a losing ticket means. <laughs> the final round isn't ready yet. You're not all supposed to die before that. That's strange. I could have sworn you messed up big time and died before getting to the final round, but I guess I imagined the whole thing? I'll play closer attention from now on. It's time for the next question. Whose army rediscovered the Rosetta Stone? for consequences. Hopefully you can defend yourself from ESP. Type in an answer that fits this category. Everyone else will answer too. And if anyone matches you, you die. Get to writing.
time's almost up. One of you didn't answer. How dare you? We all still had fun, right? I mean, there's still a death. That's the important thing.
Vegas history know it simply as the Murder Hotel. The infamous hotel was run by a mysterious family for several generations until close to This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Sorry, we're out of rooms, but we have plenty of deadly trivia. Only one of you will survive. The rest of you will die. Was that clear? I'm trying to be a better communicator. All right, first question. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, uh, what is that? Use your device to answer the question. <laughs> and the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you... I want to show you something. Welcome to room 113! Tattoos! My body is a roadmap of suffering. Give me a new tattoo by drawing on your device. Yeah. Yeah, harder. Harder. Oh. Oh. That was really transformative for me. Now vote for your favorite design. The artist with the fewest votes will die. Vote already! <laughs> what did we decide? No one likes ties. I'll just pick. This might actually look worse after it heals. Time for a little pay back. You're back! You're a ghost now, but you have options. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's try another one. When was the accordion invented? This. The rest of you, time for consequences. Welcome to room 217. Let's play with spooky dice. Roll as much as you want to add to your score. I'll kill the player with the lowest score. But go over 21 and you die instead. And don't forget... If they roll a skull, that adds one to everyone's score. Honestly, it's mostly just an excuse to use these cool skull dice. Time's almost up! Looks like you didn't roll enough.
You know, I respect my parents for balancing their serial murder and hotel management careers and still finding time to horribly scar my psyche. Oh, this is our stop! Let's keep moving. In what Edgar Allan Poe story is somebody killed because they have a weird eye? still alive. Follow me. It's my old favorite, chalices. I've given each safe player a poison pellet. Pick a chalice to drop your poison in. Pick a chalice already! Now it's your turn to play! Pick a chalice to drink from! Drinking from- Ah, that's the good stuff! Now let's see what everyone drank! Now that's what I call a poisoning! Here. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question. What's the Latin translation of I roll? Do a spooky handwriting test. The ghost of my aunt Mildred loves to write words on mirrors. She has her own consistent handwriting. Now, Aunt Mildred is going to write a different word, but so will all the safe players. Draw a word on the mirror, and maybe you'll trick someone into thinking it's Aunt Mildred's. Start writing on that mirror. Pay attention to the words as they appear and try to spot my auntie. So many convincing words to choose from! Now, type the word that Aunt Mildred wrote, or you die! <laughs> Would the real Aunt Mildred please stand up? Oh, um... That's a weird mistake. It's time for you to join my Aunt Mildred. Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive, but will you be the one to escape? I'm going to give you a category. Plural nouns. Tap each answer that fits the category, and then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for each correct answer. You're on your way to escaping! Ah, but it's not just you. If a ghost catches you, they'll steal your life force. Then they can try to escape and win the game. 
Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. I don't know if you can outrun those ghosts. Beyonce albums! Shirley Chaplin Films! Fall behind. Are you afraid of the dark? Roman numerals. Time is almost up. Back because there's a ghost right there! Taller than the Eiffel Tower. Moving on. Agatha Christie Mysteries. Oh, this one's a nail biter. Moons of Jupiter. Stop. Too slow, so you gotta go. Uh uh uh, not so fast. You need a perfect answer for your final escape. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. You have to get all the right answers to escape. Three syllable words. Nope, not enough. Ooh, you stole some yummy life force. Brains of organisms and taxonomy. Time is almost up. Force to look like force. 